Hello Orbit family, um, Bose here. I promise to uh, take you with me while I'm going to uh, repot some of my orchids in uh, sphagnum moss. And I'm very, very nervous, so I was uh, really anxious when Shen went to bed to start with some orchids. And then I had to prepare because I forgot I promised you to take you with me. So um, I have one, two Phalaenopsis here. Got my water sprayer and my sphagnumas ready. And um, I will uh, start the repot and I will put music under it. And because I probably have to fast forward it, uh, I'm not that quick. And uh, so I hope you enjoy. Um, this is uh, for you, Amy. Thank you for teaching me so much about water culture and uh, sphagnum moss. Uh, yesterday I did a funny video about uh, wetting the sphagnum, just seeing it uh, expand. I'm a child at heart and I like to uh, do experiments and um, I'll post that up under the name zombie moss, creating some zombie moss. And um, uh, well, yeah, glad you're joining me and uh, let's get to repotting, shall we? See you in a minute. I have to adjust my camera because looking at my face while I'm repotting is not the point. Okay, there we go. First thing I need to do is get the water out. We're going to save the water to uh, water the plant with so it has its own uh, still uh, beneficial bacteria. Um, as you can see, it has one shiny new root. It's got an aerial root that's uh, been uh, slowly adjusting to more moisture. And it's one root that was in the water. It has uh, a piece of velamen missing. So uh, now I'm gonna to, going to start. Uh, place a little bit of sphagnum in the bottom of the glass. Then I'll put the orchid back and gonna fill it. There we go. I think that's a little bit too high. Okay, there we go. Oh, if I do that, then I'm in front of the camera. So I have to do it with left. That's gonna be a pain. Well, anyway, there we go. I'm gonna shut up and speed up the process. Make sure you leave enough air gaps and air space. You want it, uh, you don't want the moss to be packed. You want it to be light and fluffy. And especially since I have no holes in this container, uh, it's very essential that it gets some air to the roots. So make sure not to pack it too tight. And make sure you use premium orchid moss. You don't want anything else for your orchids. actually more to it just make sure not to pack it and make sure the orchid is stable in there job done easy peasy let me see oh that's a lot of glare there's a lot of pockets and air spaces and um, I think that should do it. I can see the bottom root. The one that's supposed to that's used the media. I can't see the aerial root. And if I just get a teensy bit root growth like Amy is having, then I'm in heaven. That's amazing. 
in three weeks you made a whole root system. So uh, that would be great. There we go. I had uh, somewhere here a bandage skewer. Well, there we go. There are two tiny pieces of moss inside the orchid. I think that's it. It's a little bit wobbly, don't you think? I could try to. I'm not sure if the moss is supposed to touch the leaves. And I don't want to press down on it too much. There we go. So, just a little check. Sorry, getting it out of frame. Okay, there we go. I hope this will do it. It's not as stable as I wanted it to be. Therefore, I should have made it. Okay, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to take a little bit out and put it deeper in there. It's a woman's prerogative to change her mind, isn't it? Yeah, I can do that quite a lot. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I was nervous. I emailed Libby a couple of times. She's cute enough and kind enough to email me back with updates of how the weather is in Florida and how the hurricane is progressing. Oh, I don't think I want that gnarly bit in there. There we go. And when I'm nervous, when I'm nervous, I ramble more than I uh, usually do. And uh, plants make me calm. So, uh, therefore, I'm nervous. I know Irma is hitting, it's 10 o'clock here. Uh, it's six hour time difference. So that would mean that it's four o'clock over there. I think I heard her say the storm was going to hit at eight. So that's another four hours. So uh, I should just go to bed, sleep for four hours and then watch the news until um, everything is done and passed through. The zones my friends are but uh yeah i'm praying for todd i'm praying for libby i'm also uh, hoping and praying that blanca and john benedict are safe i'm not sure if anybody else is in that area that's the four i know of so um then i just pray in general that there's not too much damage but uh i have seen a few news episodes showing the damage already done and um, it's horrible guys it's terrible terrible what's happening at the moment in the USA in Houston Texas in uh, those areas in Miami Cuba Puerto Rico I think Svetlana said something uh, that she was from the Dominican Republic and that um, the storm passed her and she has no damage so she's really really lucky and I'm really happy for her and um, yeah, I don't know where everybody from our Orchid family lives. So um, if you're in uh, Miami, Tampa, uh, Florida, the Key West, I'm not really very topographically uh, knowledgeable. So anybody's in that area, I hope you're safe. And uh, my prayers are with you. And uh, when the storm passed and you have means to let people know you're safe, Give us a shout out just leave a line say something respond to somebody else's channel and uh i just wish there gonna be no casualties and everybody keeps their house but uh i'm a dreamer and i'm <sighs> overly sensitive anyway so i did it again put it a little bit um deeper so that also means that i don't have as much moss and therefore, for me, less chance of drowning it. There's a lot of glare. How do I get rid of that glare? Where is it coming from? Can't really turn off. Do I see the TV in there? That's funny. Anyway, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, so there is uh, no moss touching the bottom leaf. I had a bad experience with media, bark media touching the bottom leaf and it rotted off. And... Um, I, their moisture got in between the leaf and the stem and I lost the plant 
So uh, this is my repotting of a Thelionopsis with three roots into premium grade sphagnum moss. Um, I gonna do the other. The other is gonna be a little bit difficult because I will show it to you. I'm not gonna film it. Um, as you can see, it's the kiki of the plant I just did. Look how big it is. This new leaf is nice and shiny and very healthy. The rest is hydrated, but the plant is not doing anything. It's not having any green root tips. It's not having um, new leaves. The only thing it's doing is producing uh, that cakey. So uh, I'm hoping that if I place it in moss, it gets hydrated enough um, and gets enough nutrients to uh, also sustain the cakey, but also um, um, continue with her own life and growth cycles. And uh, this is my favorite Phalaenopsis. It's the one, uh, the picture in my on my channel. Um, that's a Phalaenopsis flower. It is pink and yellow and has tigery spots, and uh, it's my favorite one of my first phalaenopsises, so um, I'm hoping she, one of those does well. And if not, then I'm praying and hoping the Kiki will do fine. Um, but I'm not gonna film the other one. It's really hard to work fast or work properly while, while thinking of uh, where your hands are if you're not in front of the camera. So thank you all for watching. Everybody, please stay put, stay safe. Uh, uh, I say stay put because I heard on the news that uh, the time of packing up and going is over. So when you travel now, there's a big chance that uh, you're going to be in bad weather. And that's dangerous. So um, I rattle. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Uh, the name is correct on my channel. Um, anyway, thank you all for watching. I love you all. Um, be safe. And let us know when uh, you're safe and how you're doing. Bye. Rose out.